Greetings everyone, here is Lorik again and this is the game of the Pacific Admits Edition. This is my play by email match against Sagoon, he is a commander and for me it is the Empire of Japan. This is scenario 1 from game version 26b. So, I take a dot base without a fight. Cargo ship at first, but it's really only a cargo ship. In going, outgoing, don't know. But it's sinking. And the second cargo ship. And there was a, at least two task forces a Dutch and a British. And the second sinking sound. So after many days of not so much uh, prey to sink, uh, my submarine fleet was a little successful. So something to show off. And there was some reaction very shortly. And my battleship task force find the enemy destroyer and the cargo ship. Not sure what is this. Uh, but because it's the enemy destroyer and we don't have really a lot of uh, navy battles. Uh, maybe keep this running now and see this is daytime long range so not really a chance for the enemy destroyer and this is a Clark I think Clark is a heavy destroyer or destroyer leader or something and uh, I get one hit on Mutsu but only armor deck Hit, no penetration, again, no penetration. And I score the first five hit, hit, hit on Clark, and destroyers have never any um, armor deck or side armor, belt armor. So there's always penetration automatically. thousand uh, yards so this is now a more hit friendly distance and there's a 16 inch 40 centimeter hit but I'm not really sure if there's something like over penetration in this game. Uh, if this is now 14 and 16 inch shells really create uh, a lot of damage on the destroyer, or if better 5 inch, 6 inch is at the end better. I see, I don't know, we will see. But the clock is going down, and this means the cargo ship is left over. and. I think both, and there was some small mini base force without engineers, so maybe only a part of a unit going down. Anyway, two ships less, and one good destroyer less for the allies. Yeah. And I spot here enemy corvette, west of, uh, west of my island. I don't know more the name, but just now. But west of my goal, at least. Good, some slow yeah, on the text. And a stronger airstrike against this Chinese because this is open clear to land. Here it makes sense. And 
also some flick. So somehow this Chinese unit uh, was able to uh, collect some supplies somewhere somehow. So you never know how the supplies really flow at the end. Sweep enemy air bases to maybe achieve uh, some sweep victory, but I don't want to try this too much. It's really not uh, the number one task of the Japanese to have an active air war over enemy bases if there's no really great uh, strategy behind it. At least from my point of view, and this is scenario one, so I would always uh, play it. More defensive, less risky. Dutch search airplane try to bomb my AK. My carriers at uh, Tahiti still try to find and score some hit, but I get the information that there are ships in port, but I cannot hit them. Maybe in the afternoon. Tahiti. Also, I try to hit. Ah, this is already afternoon, okay. But I score no hit. Maybe here. Port hits. But no ships. Here is the Dixie. Ah, yeah. Yesterday I score a torpedo hit. Today I get one. But this is a 250 kilogram bomb, so they can create some damage. And this ship is already heavily damaged and now on fire. Here is nothing. I tried to find. My scouts told me there are four or five ships, but I don't know really where. And Sagoon maybe always jump the hex or the dot base overnight. Arrived at Kopeng, there is a division going on shore. The 48th division and 8 combat units uh, cannot swim or drifting away, whatever. And this is a regiment taking the eastern part of the island. Also, two regiments getting uh, two. Squads getting destroyed, plus three more landing and a gun. Oh, yeah. But I try to get Timo under control in very short time. Good bombardments, more bombardments. Both are a little successful. This is only really to pin down. So long, the Dutch base force surrender. But it's a mini base force and the dot base. And this is a counter battery fire from the Dutch, and I can already see that there's not much additional forces here. So, but there's at least one additional. So, you have this uh, Timor garrison, this is the original Kopeng. And from Dili, 
So Sagoon moved, I think this, there was maybe a detachment and he moved it to Kopang to get more defense firepower here. But it's far too little to stop me. Next, try to, yeah, okay. So now this uh, British uh, base force is retreating, the unit is retreating, but I can more or less destroy the equipment. Yeah, okay, so they're empty. Okie dokie. Overall, my successful day. I lost nothing more or less. Maybe only some airplanes. But I still cannot really find and uh, finish this uh, Tahiti operation. More or less, I consume a lot of time and fuel and not much gain so far. A little, but not much. It's end. Air losses are seven on my side, all operational. Mm, this is all army equipment in China. This is scout. So one, huh? yeah, only one torpedo bomber for my carriers have a accident. All the rest is army equipment. So I have also two killed pilots, likely army pilots. Ship sunk last turn. So two K cargo ships at uh, Perth, a better one with long range but not high speed, and a more standard one. Uh, the tonnage is simply smaller, four thousand load capacity to five and a half thousand. But no, yeah. both are standard cargo ships, I would say. Uh, this is a French mini cargo ship. Not many French ships, so one less. And Clark is a really good fleet destroyer. So this is a, with seven durability and victory points. It's like a low level Chinese, uh, Japanese first class destroyer. At the end, this has five inch uh, guns like Japanese destroyers. And uh, also a lot of uh, torpedo load, so two, four mount. Uh, turrets or whatever you want to call it, or thrower. And you can upgrade them. So this is uh, still without radar. I uh, don't know why is that, I mean, he must use escort. So, uh, but this kind of destroyer is getting later really much better. Good. Oops, jump away. So Japan looks okay, supply situation in Tokyo is still up and down, up and down. I have still too much END uh, factories consuming a lot of uh, supplies, so I not really can overproduce supplies and I have more and more demand of supplies in Southeast Pacific. So I don't know how long I can wait before I, I must ship out supplies to support my positions uh, at Nomaya, Rabul, Truk. But must be Suva and whatever. So in China we had no real battle, only bombardments and my forces are moving southeast. So tomorrow I arrive here and the day after tomorrow I can attack. Hopefully then this is the end of this Red Chinese Army Corps. I also cross here northeast uh, with a division, two divisions going northeast. And at the same time a regiment is walking this way down. So I hope, if I'm a little lucky, I can find this guy, maybe if I'm lucky, I can only force it to retreat with no equipment. If it's surrender, that's also okay. The big next battle is here in the source, I would say. There are four units I can catch and maybe wipe out. And I have here already one artillery unit is a little faster than the rest but the rest will I don't know oh uh, yeah the most equipment will arrive already tomorrow so even if the Chinese attack here my one unit uh, they must fight with my divisions and then this will work at the same time I block here the two hexes so these four units cannot escape Burma I only achieve here a small victory defeated this Base force 
but I don't have really the tech power, so I go with my Navy Guard unit, and maybe this Navy Guard unit can also catch one or two units retreating. Uh, I cannot ask for more. This is not really frontline. This is more only guard duty. I detected here a Corvette. Not sure what they're doing. Maybe an early warning position ship. Maybe we'll see. Everything else is okay. I'm moving uh, to take the oil here in the north and uh, wipe out this retreating Dutch forces. Normally they're retreating to this base and then they try to, re to retreat this base. So long I stay on the road, it's fine for me. I have tanks, so I'm fast. East Java's under control. I take here, this is an important oil and refinery, no battle, so I can normally take it quickly. Other Navy Guard units are moving, so the day after tomorrow I can also already take the next battle of this already defeated two units out of Sorbaya, maybe they will surrender. At the same time I bring my uh, paratrooper guys here around, simply I, because I was not sure how fast this works, so I want to take this dot base and walk around, that this unit not hmm, jumping here somewhere crazy. At the end, I more or less uh, take Java from east to west. Timor double invasion, so tomorrow I will have here two battles. Normally, this is a small mini base force, this is a little stronger, but easy going. Picking here other equipment. So, the only Dutch airbase known for me would be Makassar. This is the last one I must take after this two Timor bases fall. And I think these two bases have also so mini base forces, but they don't really have, I think, every aviation support. Or at least not really too much. And the rest? Quite. Invasion fleet is uh, preparing. Savai is next turn. I will create here the main invasion fleet and then go for Pago Pago. And. Tahiti, yeah, I see here, this is the Dixie, and I see ships here, I don't know how many, but I know there are only there's ships. So I try to make recon, but my recon is not really working so well, always only one or two, not sure why. But looks like in this two dot bases, Sagoon try to hide his ships. So what I must do is more or less uh, block, I think, this four or five bases with surface task force and then try to use the carriers to bomb them. So that he's, if he try to move in the night, I catch him at night in the surface engagement and then I can maybe bomb him at daytime. The battleships catch up with these two ships, not really high value, but was successful so I can call them back because I must stay together, enemy carriers can always approach. And even if I'm far away from Hawaii, maybe the reaction time of the Allies is soon arriving, maybe. So two more days, and then I must really leave Tahiti. Good, see you next time, take care, bye-bye.